He is now officially impeached. And I'm not talking about President Biden. For the first time in 150 years, on their second try, House Republicans were finally successful in impeaching Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. But he's never going to be convicted, and I will explain why in a second. First, the final vote in the House tonight was razor thin, 214 to 213. All Republicans voting yes, all Democrats voting no, along with the same three Republicans who voted no last week, Representative Ken Buck of Colorado, Representative Tom McClintock of California, and Representative Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin. Now, I mentioned this was the Republicans' second attempt at getting this impeachment passed. That's because, as I told you in this video last week, in a rather embarrassing incident, the Republican majority failed to pass this very same bill with these two articles of impeachment for Mayorkas. But now that the numbers were in their favor tonight, because Representative Steve Scalise is now back to work, they were able to get it done. Last week, Scalise was not present and not voting because he was undergoing cancer treatment. So now with his presence tonight, the Republicans were able to get this impeachment over the finish line. Now, the Constitution says an impeachment is reserved for specific government officials who commit high crimes and misdemeanors. So what are the high crimes and misdemeanors Mayorkas has committed? According to the House Republicans, he willfully and systematically refused to comply with federal immigration laws and he committed breach of public trust by knowingly making false statements to Congress and obstructing the oversight of his department. Republicans say Mayorkas is the one responsible for the chaos happening at the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Mayorkas will never be convicted. The reason why is the Constitution specifically says the only body that can convict and have a government official removed from their office is the United States Senate. They can either hold a trial, like the ones we saw with former President Donald Trump, or they have procedures available to them to simply dispose of the House impeachment articles. And because the Senate is controlled by Democrats, they're already saying that's exactly what their plan is, to just dispose of these impeachment articles. Get rid of them, make them disappear. But even if that effort is not successful, they will never move forward to convict Mayorkas because they're just isn't enough votes. So in the end, Alejandro Mayorkas will not be removed from his job as Homeland Security Secretary, and nothing is really going to come of this.